Hello, trumpet players. Um, I'm about to do all 12 of the major scales. Um, for this is a recording that I'm making for somebody technically not my student yet. And the reason I have to bring that up is normally I would do this for my students for free. Okay. Um, I do make recordings for my students. And it was his idea. He, he wrote to me. He says, could I record these scales so that he can copy them? Um, and he wants to, I'm assuming he wants to hear how they go. And which at first I thought, well, that's kind of a weird thing because it's the same scales. Except that I'm looking now at the scale sheet that he sent and it is slightly different it's and it is different in a way that's kind of awkward my assumption here is that they did the scales this way so the whole band could play it together right the scales that are not two octaves they make you play it twice but the place where they switch is bizarre <laughs> in my opinion, the place where you switch octaves is extremely bizarre. So, um, and so I can, I can appreciate why in this scale set, you would want to hear what the so stuff sounds like because it is really strange. Now, before I go into the actual playing of the scales, the best way to learn these scales is with my scale expansion book it's band scale expansion studies okay i wrote this book specifically for this purpose and for the most part it will work the way it needs to work on on this um on this sheet there like i said this sheet is kind of bizarre there there is a change but it's not enough of a change that this wouldn't work Okay, and I'll put a, a link down in the description uh, to where you can see more about this book. But yeah, this, this is how you do that. If the way you're practicing is just to copy what you see or copy what you hear, then you're missing. You're not, you're not going to play the best that you can play. You're, you're only functioning at about 25% of your capacity, your, your um, abilities, okay? So I do strongly recommend anybody who's trying to learn their band scales, I do strongly recommend this book. And then after, you, after you've mastered this book, I also strongly recommend that you move from this to doing the tonalization studies because once you start doing the tonalization studies, scales are no longer an issue ever. The only reason my students ever have to do this is if they start lessons with me and, and like later, right? If someone's been studying with me since they were like in seventh grade, we don't do this because they don't need this. I hope that makes sense. All right. The, if once you get this and you can play those scales and you, if you're serious about being a good trumpet player, playing the scales is not enough. I'm going to say that again to make it sink in. If you're serious about being a great trumpet player, just playing the scales is not enough. All right. So. I mean, it's nice if you if you want to master all 12 scales, that's the nice foot in the door. OK, and and yes, I'm going to I'm going to play these now for you so that you hear how they go. I don't know what um, I don't know what uh, region this is or what state it is. I forget what state he lives in, um, but I'm sure this is not the only place you're ever going to see this. OK, here we go. C major. That's B flat concert. <laughs> Okay, now, 
Luckily, you don't have to do the, the arpeggios at the end. If you're doing my book, you might want to do the arpeggios, okay? Now, this is where it gets weird, right? Check this out. I'm sure the reason they wrote it like that is so the whole band can play it together. I'm, I'm sure. But if it was me that wrote this, I would put that top note. I would put the, the I would go, here's how I would write it. Let's put it this way. That's how I would do it if I was writing this, but I didn't write it. The other one is the way you do it. Okay, here's A. Okay, now E, that's concert D. That's bizarre, isn't it? Okay, next one. Okay, next one, F sharp. Now, here's another really bizarre one, D flat. Now, when you're doing D flat, make sure. Now, you should have your slides out when you should have your slides out. But it's most important on this one for because that note is the root note. So, when you're doing D flat, look how far my slides are going out for that bottom note. Okay? Anyway, let's move on. Okay, three more left, E flat. Two more left, here we go. Now, one more to go. Okay. Like I said, that's pretty bizarre. Um, now, I, I, I told you about this book, and I told you... Oh, do you know what it is? One more thing. Like I said, I do this for free for my students. I sometimes do it for free for people who are not my students. Doing re uh, uh, sample recordings, right? So that people can listen to what they're learning. Uh, and that's fine, right? I don't mind doing that. It is something that I actually charge for. So, for example, if you want a recording of something like what I just did now, I will do that, and I'll charge you the same price as what I would charge for a lesson, okay? I don't mind doing this here because it helps me to advertise my book, right? So, in this case, it's okay. I'm not, uh, not going to charge them because it's an opportunity for me to talk about this book, okay? This book is if you want to master your band skills, this book is going to help you do that. Okay? 
If you want to master your band scales, this is going to do it. But I don't want to give anybody the impression that I just, like, um, I'm just at your beck and call, right? Um, even for my paying students, this is not something I just do overnight, okay? I do this stuff when I have time to do this stuff. I guess if someone wanted a, this hasn't happened yet, but if somebody wanted a rush order, like I have to have this recording tomorrow, I might tag another hundred bucks onto it just to make it, you know, you know, worth giving up whatever it is what, that I have to give up to do that. So I just want to make that clear. This is a service that I offer. Anything that you're trying to learn, I don't mind recording it for you. All right, that's a service that I offer, and I basically, um, you know, takes me about an hour to make a video like this, so we're looking at about seventy dollars uh, for something like this. Okay, anyway, very good. That's all I have for you. Enjoy your scales, and really, I can't stress enough buy the book <laughs> okay let people know about the book you know i have friends in in south africa and in europe and i was kind of thinking that this book wasn't appropriate outside of texas because i didn't know that that thing where you go uh quarter note eighth note eighth note eighth note tonguing ascending and then slurring with the same pattern going down i didn't know that was almost universal so it turns out that this book is not just for texas people okay this book is appropriate in south africa it's appropriate in europe anywhere that they have what we call here band scales okay this book will help you master those scales and it's it like I said, if you're not familiar with my tonalization studies, master your band scales first because that's what you have to do for school or whatever. But then it's really a, a much better idea to go and do the tonalization studies. Really, it's it's so much better. So much better. Band scales are no longer an issue. Scales become kind of like kindergarten, right? Like it's like the kindergarten of trumpet technique is band scales. All right. Anyway, very good. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time.